the fact that we have fewer deaths per hurricane. Why? Because you now know weeks in advance. We have models that have trajectories of hurricanes. In decades gone by, it was like, there's a hurricane there, we don't know. Should I stay? Should I go? And then you stay and you die. So to cherry pick science, it, it's an odd thing for a scientist to observe. And I don't, I didn't grow up in a country where that was a common phenomenon. We went to the moon and people knew science and technology fed those discoveries. And the day two politicians are arguing about whether science is true, it means nothing gets done, nothing. It's the beginning of the end of an informed democracy. What I'd rather happen is you recognize what is scientifically true, then you have your political debate. Uh, so in the case of, of energy uh, policy, whatever, it's you don't ask, is the science right? You ask, should we have carbon credits or, or ta uh, tariffs? That's, right. That's where the politics needs to come in and it's not. The longer we delay, the more I worry that we might not be able to recover from this because all our greatest cities are on the oceans and water's edges, historically for commerce and transportation. And as storms kick in, as water levels rise, they are the first to go. And we're, we don't have a system, we don't have a civilization with the capacity to pick up a city and move it inland 20 miles. That's, this is happening faster than our ability to respond. That could have huge economic consequences.